Hello, and welcome to the ANU edX course on exoplanets. My name is Brian Schmidt, and I'm an astronomer here at the Australian National University. I'm normally, normally thought of someone who studies cosmology, the universe on its largest scales, but I also work in the field of exoplanets through a program known as the Hat South Telescope Network, where we're out searching for planets going around nearby stars. And I'm Paul Francis. I'm the other lecturer in this course. Uh, my interest in exoplanets comes from the study of comets, which occur both in our own solar system and in other solar systems. Uh, but I also do work on giant black holes and the origin of the universe. So exoplanets and the study of the exoplanets uh, is arguably one of the most exciting topics in astronomy today. It has come from nowhere to being a, uh, a, a, a science that is literally lighting up uh, you know, humanity and uh, in discovery. Fifteen years ago, we did not know about any planets around stars other than our own. Now there are over a thousand. Not a week goes by without some new and weird discovery being in the papers about some strange planet or something else going on out there. And in this course, we're going to try to bring you up to date with everything that's happening. But it's going to be a challenge because things are changing so quickly. This is the second of four courses that together make up the Australian National University's first year astro astronomy unit. The first course, the introduction is on the greatest unsolved mysteries of the universe. You can do that course online through edX as well. If you haven't done that course, don't worry. We will repeat the important bits of it here. Now this course is at a level which is a little bit more than your average documentary. We really need you to have some understanding of math and, and science and physics at the high school level. Uh, if you're unsure, have a look at the first uh, homework set for problem set for uh, this course, and you'll get a sense because that's the level that's throughout the course. If you could do that, you'll be fine doing the entire course. It doesn't get any harder. Let me show you how the course works. Most of the course material can be found here in the coursework tab. Each week, a new section will be released. In each section, the two crucial parts are the lesson and the homework. You should do the lesson first. This is our equivalent of a lecture, and it consists of a whole bunch of videos interspersed with questions. Down here at the bottom of the video are the controls. They will differ depending on your browser, but you can go full screen, change the speed you play things at, uh, turn the captions on and off, and generally play around with them. Also, each week you will need to do the homework if you want to get a certificate for this course. And this will consist of a bunch of numerical or formula type questions, and maybe the occasional multiple choice question. In addition, there are a number of things to help you. There are reference notes. Uh, this gives you uh, the key facts from the videos so that when you're coming back to look up something, you don't have to go through all the videos again. Uh, there are links to papers, uh, papers referred to in the talks. Uh, there are practice questions, which will uh, give you practice at solving the same sort of questions that you're going to need for the homework. The practice questions are not worth marks, they're just for practice. And in some cases, there will also be webcast worked examples. And there is a mystery. Week by week, this will build up, and then at the end of the course and the exam, we will test you on it. Also crucial is the discussion. Here you can pose questions to us and answer questions and generally uh, interact with the other members of the class. So I think that's all you need to know to start this course. If there's anything that's still unclear to you, uh, check the reference notes out in this section or put a, a post on the bulletin board, the discussion board, and we will let you uh, answer your question. So let's start with uh, looking at the one place where we really expected not to find a planet, 